Hey friends, this is Arpita and welcome to my channel Arpita Prajesh. So in our today's video, let us discuss what is segmentation with paging. So we know that a segment a, we have already seen what is segmentation and how the segmentation occurs and what is paging also. So we have also learned that pure segmentation is not very popular and not being used in many of the operating systems. So however, segmentation can be um, combined with paging to get, get the best features out of both the techniques. So hence, segmentation is combined with paging. In segmented paging, segmentation divides memory, the main memory uh, into a variable size segments. That is, the main memory is divided into variable size segments which are further divided, which are further divided into divided into fixed sized pages means the main memory is first divided into segments that are of variable size and those segments are divided into a, a fixed pages and here we need to notice uh, some or note down some points which are very much important in case of the segmented paging first one is pages are smaller smaller than segments these these points we need to remember and the next one is each segment has a page table each segment has page table page table which means every program every program has multiple page tables multiple page tables and the logical address is represented as the logical address is represented as segment number, page number and page offset. offset. So the logical address is represented as segment number, page number and page offset. And the segment number, it points to the appropriate segment. So what does the segment number do? The segment number will point to the appropriate or specific segment. Appropriate segment. So similarly, the page number, page number, it points to to the exact page within the segment within the segment and here page offset page offset it is used as an offset within the page frame within the page frame so here segment number points to the appropriate segment page number it points to the exact page that is in the within the segment and page offset used as an offset within the page frame each page table contains the various informations about every page of the segment and the segment table contains the information about every segment each segment table entry points to a page table entry and every page table entry is mapped to one of the page within the segment. So we will see how it is done. And table contains the information about the every segment and each segment table entry points to the page table entry and every page table entry is mapped to one of the page within the segment which are stored in the main memory so this is how the arrangement of a segment and page is been made in the segmented page
so as in case of a paging and the segmentation even in the segmentation with paging also necessary a conversion uh, requires a conversion of a logical address into a physical address so we will see how it can be done so for that we have to uh, refer this uh, segmentation hardware segmentation with paging hardware so here the cpu generates a logical address which is divided into two parts one is segment number and the segment offset the segment offset must be less than the segment limit uh, offset is further divided into a uh, page number and page offset to map the exact page number in the page table the page name the page number is added uh, to the page table base so you can see here the page number is added to the page table base which comes from here so the actual frame number with the offset the actual frame number with the offset uh, with the page offset is mapped to the main memory to get the desired word in the page of a certain segment of the process so this is how the uh, segmentation with paging will work so now let us see what are the advantages of a segmentation segmented paging the segmented paging reduces memory usage page table size is limited by the segment size as well as segment table has only one entry corresponding to the one actual segment external fragmentation is not there in this case and it simplifies memory allocation and what are the disadvantages of a segmented paging is here we have a internal fragmentation in case of a segmented paging and the complexity uh, level will be much higher as compared to the paging and page tables need to be continuously stored in the memory so these are the few disadvantages of a segmented paging hope this is clear to your friends